and then with a long hook tool, went inside and removed the brain a piece at a time. So for 35 days after the organs are removed, the body stays in this natron, which is a dehydrating agent. It's found naturally in Egypt. It's basically baking soda and table salt. Then the remainder of the ritual is performed. Along with the physical mummification came the spiritual aspect, the religious aspect. While the embalmers were the technicians, there were also, of course, a host of priests who officiated at this mummification service with the rituals. In strange costumes, priests whispered spells to ensure the safe transition of the dead to the other side. O oh, sweet-smelling soul of the great god, thou dost contain such odor that thy face shall neither change nor perish. After reciting some magical words, the bandaging would begin. The dehydrated body was covered in a mixture of oils and spices. Then a protective coating was applied to prevent moisture. Early travelers to Egypt thought this substance was mamiya, an oily material. 